This is a molarity problem right here. So we have a sample of bicarbonate and it's dissolved in enough water to make 250 milliliters of solution. So we're going to calculate the molarity of the solution. So it would be useful to remember that molarity is the moles of solute over the liters of solution. All right, so what do we need? We need to convert the grams of the uh, carbonate into the moles of carbonate. So let's go ahead and do that here. Real quick, if you wanted to calculate the molecular weight of the carbonate, you have sodium is 23, hydrogen is 1, carbon is 12, each of the three oxygens is 16, so that gives you 84.01 grams per mole. And now we're ready to convert the sample to moles, to 3 grams. I have to divide by the molecular weight, 84.01 grams is one mole, oh, one mole. That's pretty much it, 6.693 times 10 to the minus 2 moles of carbonate. Another little thing we're going to do, notice that this is in liters. So we need to convert our milliliters into liters. Real quick, what we do is that we move the decimal point three times to the left. So we have a quarter of a liter, 0 0.250 liters. We're ready to calculate our molarity. So we have this many moles. And we have our liters of solution. I'm going to go ahead and put the units because I, I like the units. All right, so it's 0.2677. We are not done. So now we're going to look at here. We're going to have one, two, three, four significant figures. This one has one, two, three. So we're going to go ahead and cut it to three, six, and we're going to round up that one. So we have a solution that's 0.268 molar. That's how you do molarity.